it's me Brianna and it's going to be a tutorial on the nude look it was requested for me to do like some drugstore nude lip looks and how to accomplish the look so um, I do have a few nude lips um, all of these are drugstore brands they're really inexpensive I personally think the best way to rock a nude lip for women of color is to rock it with a lip pencil I think lip pencils can uh, make your the nude lip not look as ashy on our skin as you know it, it can tend to look um, I will show you a few of the lip colors I do have the first nude look I have is from um, Wet n Wild and this is for two bucks the color Sandstorm this is what Sandstorm looks like and I'll put a little bit on my hand for you to see looks like that you can see that I don't know if you guys can see that or not that's what it looks like and this is what it looks like on my lips And I actually really like this color. But this is the nude lip. And a great way to kind of make this more nudist is more nudist. Oh, is that even okay, yeah. And a great way to make this lip color um pop a little more is a lip pencil. And this would just pretty much brighten it up, and I'll show you guys. And this is the first nude look. And once again, this is in Wet n Wild 913C Sandstorm. And you can get this at Kroger, Myers, um, I even seen it at the Dollar General, and it's only for two dollars. So this is the first nude look. The second one is called um, 903C, and this is just peachy. And it's a really pretty light pink color. This would probably look really good on like, you know, light skinned women. Um, just, you know, a little bit lighter. And I'll show what this looks like. And it is a pink type of nude. And this is just peachy. And it looks a little weird on my skin. So um, a way you can kind of make this look a little better is you can do some lip liner. And I'm going to do a dark brown lip liner. And this is um, Wet n Wild. And this is in the color, let's see, Willow. And just take that and... Just like that. And that look, blends it in a little bit better. This makes it look a little darker. And I actually like this lip color. I prefer it with a little lip gloss. And I'm going to use just some regular pink lip gloss. Just take a little dab of it. And there you go. And this is another nude lip. And like I said again, it's just peachy. And if you get a lipstick and it's a little bit too light for your complexion, I always recommend you can kind of darken it with a darker lip liner. A dark brown lip liner works wonders on um, lip colors that are too too light for your complexion or like just not flattering to your skin tone. So I definitely recommend a dark brown um, lip liner pencil if you are a nude lip lover. And yeah, so this is the second nude look. The third um, drugstore lip color I have is from Elf and it is in the color Natural and it's only for three bucks. You can find this also at eyeslipsandface.com, um, Target, and Myers. But yeah, so I'm with this one.
And there you go. And right now, I'm looking a little crazy. Yeah. And like I said, when you have a lip color and it may be too light for your skin tone, always um, darken up with a little lip liner. And this is the dark brown chestnut lip liner. And there you go. And once again, this is in um, Elf's Lip Liner Color Pencil, and it's in the color Natural. The fourth color I have is Victoria's Secret Pink, and it's in the color Bare. And this is um, more of a really nude lip, and I'll apply this for you guys. And this is definitely a nude lip. Like, it's really tan. Like, yeah. And once again, darken up with a dark brown lip liner. And I'm actually going to use a different lip liner for this. I'm going to use Wet n Wild's um, Willow for this one. It's a lighter brown. This is the chestnut brown. It's the Willow brown. So... They're a tad, this is a tad bit lighter than this. And there you go. Another new lip. And the last lip color I have is from Wet n Wild. It's called Rosebud. And this is a pink type of neutral lipstick color. And I love this color. It's absolutely amazing for me. I love it. And it is a... Um, dark pink and um, it matches yeah so I'm gonna apply this for you guys and a great trick if you have a lipstick and you and it's maybe goes on really heavy like these lipsticks do a great way to apply it is to kind of dab it on Just like that. So you can get a little bit of color at a time. And there, this is the color right here. Once again, it's Rosebud. It's definitely my favorite color. It's kind of... There you go. And it's a pink nude. And I like a little shine to my lips. So I'm going to apply a little bit of lip shine. And once again, this is um, 903C in the color Rosebud. really like this. So these are all kind of like the nude lipsticks I have. Um, I think that these will work really well with women of color. Um, once again, I'll do these for you. This is 903C and this is in Rosebud.
you can see that, that this is Rosebud right here. This is in um, Victoria's Secret Bear. And um, this is Elf's in Natural. And um, this is in... And this is in Just Peachy. And this one is in um, Sandstorm. So there you guys go. You can see that. So these are all the different lip colors I have. And these are more like the nude lips for women of color. And I always recommend a lip liner for rocking the nude lip if the lip if the lip color is maybe a little too light for you. And the lip colors I recommend are a dark brown. I'm using Wet n Wild's Willow 712. I use Wet n Wild's um, 711 Chestnuts, and it's a darker brown. I also like Elf's um, Elf's Peachy. So anyways, if you guys have any more suggestions or comments, let me know and I will try to make a video for you guys. Don't forget to write, subscribe, and comment. Thanks guys and you have a great day.